Here it is, the Rayon Digital Everrun Note. As you can see, the keyboard is quite large for a device this size. It has a 16mm key pitch and it's quite good for typing. Below the keyboard is the optical mouse sensor, left and right mouse button clicks, and the optical mouse sensor itself is also a click. Uh, up here on the bezel we have a web camera, stereo speakers, power switch and power saving switches over here. Down on the front here we have the uh, built-in microphone, Wi-Fi, WLAN and hard disk power indication lights. Okay. On the left side we have some air vent inlets, AC power jack, on the front we have the USIM slot, SD card slot, and uh, it's interesting to note that the SD card slot will take the card right in, same with USIM, there's nothing sticking out on the front of the computer here. Okay, over to the right side of the computer, we have a standard headphone jack, external microphone jack, two standard USB 2.0 ports, and this one here is a mini USB B. I'll talk about this one later. And here's another uh, air cooling inlet. Okay, on the back of the computer, I have some serious cooling for the uh, CPU over here, and standard VGA jack, putting out some pretty incredible resolutions onto uh, external LCDs using this. Just as a size comparison, we've got a uh, Kojincha SC3 here. So just give you a bit of a comparison between the two. The LCD panel on these two devices is almost identical. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they are identical. We do have a screen protector for the SC3 uh, and it tested um, to fit on the Everrun node just as well as the SC3, so I, I suspect they have got the same LCD panel in there. Okay. As you can see, the keys on the keyboard of the Everrun Note are substantially larger than the SC3. I'll just give you a bit of a close-up there if I can. Okay, you can see the size of those keys. Quite a bit different. Corginch is using a mouse pad, so it's taken up quite a bit of space with that. The uh, Everrun Note using that little optical mouse pointer, giving a lot more space there for those rows of keys. Okay. Take any Windows computer. Uh, I haven't tested it on the Mac yet. Take any Windows computer and uh, plug in a normal USB to USB. Uh, mini uh, adapter. Plug it into the side of your uh, Everrun. Uh, of course you have to have the battery in the Everrun, it's not going to work without it. Uh, plug it into the device there. The Everrun will power up the hard disk uh, only and uh, the other computer will see its hard disk as you can see. We're running it as if it were a mobile USB hard disk over here, and then we can see that it comes in on our Windows XP computer over here. Should work fine in Vista as well, just a USB hard disk. Alright, back over to the other one. Okay, I'm just going to power it down, and then I'll go and show you the uh, underside of the computer. Okay, this is the underside of the Everrun Note. Here you can see the access door. Under there is access to the hard disk. You can put a larger hard disk in there in the future if you want to upgrade it, or put an SSD or something like that. Under here you have the access to the mini PCI slot. You can put in a 3G or HSDPA access card, and then you can access that using your SIM card in here. Under here you have the battery. This is a 5200 milliamp battery, 3.7 volts, so you're looking at about 19 um, watt hours out of that battery. 
and it slots in there pretty easily. The back of the battery is the door, so it clicks in there pretty easily. Over here we have some pretty serious venting for the CPU. That dual core CPU does get fairly hot, so it's got plenty of cooling uh, to keep it going 